dedicated to macros, and more specifically, how to record them. In order to do that, you need to enable the Developer tab on your menu. If you haven't, let's do it together. You need to right-click on the ribbon and select Customize the Ribbon. A window will open, and on its right side, you'll be able to add the Developer tab. Now that we have it, let's click on it. This is the menu which we will use when we deal with macros. An Excel macro is a set of instructions that can be triggered by a keyboard shortcut, toolbar button, or an icon in a spreadsheet. In this video, we'll simply show one of the possible ways of creating this set of instructions. Let's click Record Macro. I'll call it Formatting. Okay. From this moment on, every action we do is recorded. I'll give you a piece of advice. Use macros which work on a single sheet. What I mean by that is, do not record macros that involve operations on multiple sheets, as this carries risks for errors. Having said that, let's record some actions within this sheet. It can be any type of action typing formulas, text, formatting the sheet, anything. Once we record it, we'll be able to replicate the same sequence of actions on a new sheet. For example, let's do the initial formatting which we use for all of the sheets in this course and record it as a macro. I'll select the color, the font, and the font size. Adjust the column width of the first column and set the color and font size of the title of the sheet. Once we have done that, we can click on the Stop Recording button. Every time we create a new sheet, we'll be able to format it easily with the macro we've recorded. It is done in the following way. We have to select the Developer tab, go to Macros button, and select the macro which we saved. Excel is doing the operations that we carried out while recording. You can use macros for any kind of repetitious operations in order to save time and be more efficient. Thanks for watching, and in case you have any further questions, just drop me a line.